Bumblebee's present. La la la, I'm Scooby, and I love kids more than anything in the whole world. Safe arrival, everyone be careful when you get off. Annie, Tim, Mary, Toby, Sam. Now make sure you all treat each other nicely, okay? School B, we're not kids anymore. We'll treat each other nicely, of course. That's right. We're grade school students now. Of course. I forgot. All of you are now officially in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you all. Congratulations on becoming first graders. Ooh, you'll be late. Get to your class now. We're, we're going. going. See you later, School B. Bye-bye, everyone. La, 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 la. Oh, hard to believe my friends are already in first grade. Time flies so fast. I'd love to give each one of them a surprise present, but what is good? Uh, should I give them pretty flowers, or...? Uh... Thank you, Posty. You're welcome. How about a cute card? Oh, I wish I could make up my mind. Huh? What pretty balloons! That's it! I'll give them all pretty balloons! <laughs> Hello, mister. Would it be okay if I bought some balloons from you? Of course it is. Uh, I've got some blue balloons and some red balloons. I have all kinds of colors. This is a present for my little friends. So I'd like the most special ones you have. Something special, eh? There aren't a lot. Now let's see. Not uh, this one. Uh, not that one. Uh, See, I have exactly five left. Perfect! That's the exact number of balloons I'll need. All right, but make sure you handle them all with care. Otherwise, they could cause mischief. Oh, <laughs> thanks, mister. Thank you very much. Whoa, Scooby has some really pretty balloons. Scooby! Hi, Helly! <sighs> Uh, what's with the balloons? <laughs> secret! Oh, tell me, please. I promise I'll keep it a secret. Okay, but you can't tell anyone. They're surprise gifts for my kid friends who just started Broom's Elementary School. They're a surprise? Oh, wow! They're going to love them so much! Do you think so? I'm so excited to give them their presents. I can hardly wait. Scooby, what about the rescue team? Can you think of anything we can do to help with your plan? Something to help me? Hmm. That's it! I've just come up with something that you can do! Wow, what is it? Let me whisper it. Oh, that sounds like a great idea! I'll tell everyone at the station! Then it's a deal. I'll see you after school. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye! I'm back! Kelly! You look so happy. It looks like you're thinking about something fun. I am happy. I just heard about a surprise that involves all of you. A, a surprise? surprise? Scooby wants us to help him with presents to help give them to his friends. What are they for? Come closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, Scooby's friends just started going to Broomtown Elementary School. When they get these balloons, the kids are going to love it. Thank, Thank you, Scooby. You are the best friend I ever had. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, I'm so excited. I'm floating like these balloons. <laughs> I just hope everything goes like I planned. Uh, 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 oh, oh no, my balloons! Please stop! Come back, my balloons! Oh. So our job is to put on a surprise show for the kids. Exactly. That's what School B would like. The kids get balloons. And then we put on a surprise show. That sounds so great. We'll have a ball. It will be a present that they never forget. It will be so much fun. It, it will. will. I think it will be fun, too. Hmm? Huh? Rescue team, this is Jen. Oh, it's Scooby. Jen, 
Is something wrong? It, it's my balloon. The wind got a hold of them and they just blew away. Blew, blew away? away? They're all gone. Now what am I going to do? Don't worry, Scooby. There's got to be a way we can help you out. Really? I'm sure of it. I'll send a rescue team right away. <laughs> The whole thing is my fault. I was too excited and I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Uh. Just try and relax. I'm sure we can help. Why not try to find the balloon vendor again? I'm sure the vendor would be happy to sell you some more. No, that won't work. He only had five balloons left and they were special. Oh. Don't cry, Schoolby. We'll find your balloons. I know it. You will? I promise. By the way, Scooby, do you know which direction the balloons drifted off? Uh, let me think. The blue airplane balloon and the orange star balloon flew behind City Hall. And the yellow butterfly balloon and the red heart balloon both flew to the west gate. But then the soccer ball... Oh, I have no idea where that balloon went. So, now what? Just stay calm. If we look for them together, we'll find them. Right. Cheer up, Schoolby. Thank you, friends. I believe you're right. Good. So let's go and find them all. Let's, let's go! go. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure I just saw some balloons up there. Holy! Huh? Posty! Hey, what are you doing? Posty, have you seen an airplane-shaped balloon around here? A balloon? I just saw one sailing huh? gently down the hill. Really? <laughs> Thanks, Posty. <sighs> huh? Oh, no! <laughs> uh, well, at least you're safe now. Pretend to be an apple, you're still a balloon. Eh. Good catch. <laughs> <gasps> hmm? Hmm. Oh. I found it. Hmm. Huh? Mm. Oh. This tire. No. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Wheeler. I'll take care of that. Since I saw it first, it is mine. I saw it before you, which means it's mine. Mm -mm. Excuse me. Something wrong? Sorry, but I have to take it. That balloon already belongs to someone. It, it can't, can't be, be true. true. If so, it's no big deal. I was bored with this balloon from the beginning. Me too. Me too. Oh. Oh. Got you. You are a troublemaker. Oh, no. I am still one balloon short. I need one for Toby. I have to give one to everyone. Oh, huh? so now what? Oh, it's already one. The kids will be getting out of school pretty soon. Oh, no. What should I do? Scooby. Huh? Hey, look. Up there. A balloon. What, what do, do you, you know? know? Oh. That spire is going to pop the balloon! Whoa! What should I do? Don't worry, Scooby. I'll 
bring it back. Ah. <laughs> Helly, good, good job. job. Yahoo! Helly saved the last balloon. Hooray! <laughs> Wow, balloons! Mm-hmm. Thanks so much! You're welcome, kids. Congratulations! You're in elementary school! <laughs> Helly, ready to go? I'm ready! Let's do it! Hey, kids, look up at the sky! Huh? Oh, wow! Fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> I love you, kids. Thank, Thank you, you Scooby. My pleasure. You're still the best oh. friend I ever had. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> But this one isn't for you. It's a surprise present for Mrs. Rora. It's her birthday today. May I have one teensy slice? If she gets yeah. one, so should I. Don't worry. Huh? I'll bake for you, too. Yahoo! <laughs> I really want a pie. Yeah? Well, I'd like to trade Mom's pie for some of Mrs. Rora's chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> Cab's supposed to deliver the pie, but he's running a little late. It's going to get oh. cold. I can take it to her. Huh? Really? <laughs> it's not too far. Please, let me go. All right. And while you're gone, I'll bake a pie for you, okay? Yeah! And I'm going to come, oh. too. What do you mean? It's huh? too far, Susie. You just said it isn't far. Oh, yeah. Uh. Okay, kids. Huh? Wish Mrs. Rora a happy birthday huh? for me. <gasps> Mom, I don't want to take her. If Susie listens to you, there won't be any problems. Right, Kevin? Uh. No. Uh, Will you listen to Kevin? Yes! <laughs> Go straight to the main road, Kevin. Yeah. Susie, hurry up, will ya? The pie's gonna get cold. I'm trying. Huh? Kevin, where are you going? This is the shortcut to Mrs. Rora's. But Mom told us to go straight to the main road. It's okay. I know the way better than Mom. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, Cab, you're all set. I feel like new, Amber. Oh, oh boy, gotta run an errand for Kevin's mom. Bye, Cab. We'll see you again <laughs> soon. Whoa! This street is weird. Why do the cars come so close? We'll see. This is kind of a road, okay? Oh. Oh. Okay, pal, back up. I came in first. What are you talking uh, about? I was here first. You uh, back up. This is you scary. Uh, don't don't worry about them, up, Susie. Do We're do almost there. I think this way might be faster. Kevin, I'll take it for a while. Oh, thanks, Susie. What happened, Cab? Okay, Susie? Uh, that pie was for Mrs. Rora. Oh, it's okay. I'm sure that Mrs. Rora will be very happy that both of you are safe. Cab, I'm surprised. You know you need to be extra careful and watch for pedestrians in alleys like this. I'm sorry. It's huh? all my fault, Polly. Kevin, Susie, there are some simple rules you should always follow when you walk in places where there's no sidewalk, and I'd like to teach them to you. Okay. First, always walk along the side of the road, not in the middle. 
If you walk in the middle, you can't see cars coming behind you, and that's dangerous. Second, always stop and move to the side when cars want to get by. Walk after they pass. Drivers can't always see you. Always stop and look carefully before crossing. Never run out. Third, when you walk on a narrow road, don't walk side by side. Always walk in a line. And it's not a good idea to carry anything on the side the cars are on. If one gets too close, a little bump can cause a big accident. So follow the rules, and even a walk down a narrow road can be a lot safer for everybody. OK, Polly. That's great, but the pie's ruined. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Mom's baking another one. That's right. <laughs> Mrs. Rora, we're here. Oh, what a surprise. Happy birthday, Mrs. Mrs. Rora. How oh, sweet. This is a pie for you from my mom. Oh, well, isn't that thoughtful? Come on in. I think I have something for you, too. <laughs> wow, chocolate chip cookies. These are my favorite cookies in the whole world. They're my favorite cookies in the whole entire universe. Well, I must admit, <laughs> I like them, too. <laughs> Enjoy fireworks safely. Hey guys, let's go see the Super Dragon, huh? Nah, Peter, not now. Come on! It's now or never! It's the last day, guys! Coming to my place? Yeah, of course! I'll be there. What? But what about the Super Dragon? It's Cindy's uh... birthday today. What? For real? Hmm, seems like there's someplace else you'd rather be. Um, well, I need to buy your birthday present. Huh? It's gonna be the best present you ever got in your whole life. Yeah? Well, I'm excited then. Catch you later, guys. Peter, what'll you do now? There really is no present, right? What have I done? Uh -huh. mm, not this, not this either. There must be a decent present in here somewhere. Hey, this is all right. Hmm, Peter? Ah! Ruby, I found you! There you are! Huh? <laughs> Lucy, I really need to take Ruby somewhere! But Ruby's uh, Lucy's special friend! But I really have to have him! I'll buy you an even better doll instead! No, you never ever keep promises! Look, it's Mom! Huh? I'm home! Huh? Hey there, Roy. What is that, Jin? It's Cindy's birthday, and this is her present. She'll be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Cindy will love it. How about I give it to her on my way to check the hydrants? Really? That's awesome! Thanks, Roy. I owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Cindy! Cindy. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> this is from me. And this is from me. And this is mine. Huh? Ha 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 ha! Hey, you like my gift? Uh, Isn't it awesome? Uh, thanks. That's really cool, John. Watch. It can uh, move its uh, mouth uh, and uh, arm. Wow. Is this the present you told me about? <laughs> Let me have it. It's just something I found in the garage. Huh? It's fireworks? What? what? Fireworks? Awesome. Wow. Wait, Peter. I like them. <laughs> As promised, best present ever. Mom, can we try a few of these out? Those are some beautiful fireworks. It might be fun to give them a try. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> now, everybody back up. Uh. Mom, why didn't it work? Well, I suppose it could be a dud. Come on, firework, do your thing! <gasps> Did the fire go out? Huh? Ah! Pretty sure I'm almost there. Yikes! What's happening? That sounds like... Uh, is everyone all right? Yes, yeah, ma'am. I think so. Oh! Ah! 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 Here I am! Ah! 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 Ah
everybody <gasps> get somewhere safe! <laughs> 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 Monica, when you use fireworks, always read the safety instructions and check the product's dates as well. Older fireworks can be unreliable with delayed or abnormal explosions. Roy, I'm sorry. I should have been more careful than I was. Please listen up. Remember, fireworks can be dangerous, so please read the safety instructions. Once the firework is lit, you must get at least 10 meters away to watch it. Never hold one in your hand or point one at people. Never use them inside or near flammable things or where there are a lot of trees. Only use them outdoors and when it is not windy. And if you try to set off too many fireworks at once, the explosion could start a fire. So never do that. And lastly, children, never touch fireworks without adult supervision. You got it? Yes, we got it, Roy. Sorry, Cindy. To be honest, I forgot about your birthday. Hm, that was obvious. Mm -hmm. But it was very brave of you to try and save me like that. Huh? Shall we start the party again? <laughs> Peter! Huh? <sighs> Your fireworks uh... blew up my dinosaur! <laughs> How did that happen? I'm sorry! Get back here, Peter! <laughs> <laughs> here they go again. New friends. Papers here, bottles there, cans there, all done! You go. She's wearing a collar, so she must have an owner somewhere. Right, Polly? Right. So, Cleany, you found this kitty this morning after you were done cleaning up? Right. Hmm? Yeah. Oh! Polly, please find her owner as soon as you can. I am so scared of her. Don't worry, Cleany. Kitties aren't scary at all. Of course, until we find her owner, we need someone to take care of her. We could take care of her, right? I don't think we can. We'll be much too busy with our own work. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Cleany, maybe you could do it. Just until we find her owner. Huh? Me? That's a good idea. Look at her. She looks like she really likes it here. Yeah. Uh, you think? I've never had... Such a big responsibility! I'm sure you'll be fine, Cleany. Oh dear. I am worried. Cleany did say he knew nothing about cats. Amber, I'm not sure what you mean. Think about it. What if Cleany becomes attached to the cat? That could mean a lot of trouble. Attached? What trouble? Well, then Cleany will be so sad when we find her owner. Well, don't worry, Amber. I think we'll find the owner in no time at all. I just hope you're right. So, does everybody here agree? Yes. yes! Now, let's put up some posters and find that kitty's owner. Huh? Sorry, I have no idea. Thanks. I've never seen her before. Thanks. Huh? Oh dear, she has the milk all over her little face. Huh? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> that tickles. Stop it. <laughs> there you go. I won't be scared of you anymore. You sure are a cutie pie. <laughs> so this is the cat everyone's talking about. Yep. Wow, she's so cute. Does she have a name? A name? To tell you the truth, I never thought about that. What? Not having a name is no fun. I say let's name her. Okay. Uh, how about we name you Milk? 
After all, you love to drink milk. Milk, huh? Good, Good choice. choice. Hi, milk. <laughs> I know that kitty. Yep, she belongs to Mary. Mary's her owner? Are you certain? There's no doubt about it. I've seen them together about a million times. Really? Hmm. Huh? It's Roy and Amber. What? They found the cat's owner? Yeah. Holy just gave me the happy news. It's huh? Mary's. That is good news. No wonder Mary looked sad yesterday. She was missing her kitty. That makes sense. Somebody told me that kitty was Mary's only friend. I'm so happy. Yeah, and they'll <laughs> be back together in no time. <laughs> Shh, Milk, be quiet. Mary will be so glad to get her cute kitty home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. What do I do? How am I ever going to let you leave me? Huh? That's Polly! Stay in here and don't make a sound. Hey, Cleanie! We finally found the kitty's owner. Huh? Uh, you did? What a relief. Where's the cat? Well, you see, uh... She disappeared! What? Disappeared? Huh? This could be a big problem. I know. Uh, I should have taken better care of her. Sorry, Polly. Hmm. We'll figure it out. For now, if the kitty returns, let me know. Sure. I just lied. I can't believe it. Uh. What? what? But why did you just go and leave the cat there? Cleanie looked so scared, and I just couldn't bring myself to take her. He got attached to her so fast. I feel bad for Cleanie. See that? I knew it would be hard once he became attached. You were right. You did say this would happen. Wait, shouldn't we return the kitty back to Mary right away? But Cleanie's gonna be so sad if we do. Yeah, but Mary counts too. You know what? I think we should give Cleanie a little bit more time. Oh, what do I do? Somebody told me that Kitty was Mary's only friend. I know I have Spooky and Cab as my friends. Yeah, it's not too late to give her back. Mary needs her friend Milk. Milk, Milk. Huh? Where could Milk be? Huh? Huh? Have you heard anything from Cleanie yet? No, not a thing. Emergency! Emergency! Jin, what's going on? Cleanie, I mean, something's happened to the cat. Get over to the recycling center now. All, All right. right. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry, Cleanie. She'll be just fine. Roy, cut the power so the machine stops running. Right. Power is down. Helly, let's use the detector. All right. There. Uh, huh? uh, I found her. She's stuck in the fan. We'd better hurry before things get any worse. 
course. Holy, we should take the machine apart. Hmm, good idea. Amber, get the kitty out after Roy and I take the machine apart. Kelly, watch the kitty's location. Okay. I can still see the kitty in there. All done, Polly. All right, let's lift it. Roy, you ready? Hmm. All set. Don't worry. I'll get you out. Oh. Oh. Milk! Oh. Shh! Be quiet. Milk is scared. We need to be very careful. One wrong move and she'll run away. Huh? huh? Look there! Little Milk! So, so what, what should we, we do, do now? now? We could give her something she really likes. Let me do it! Shh! Look, Milk! I brought you your favorite! It's okay. Come on out. Dangers. Share mine with ya. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> nice try. And even though I don't really want to, I guess I can share my umbrella with a classmate. Jenny. Huh? Hi, Mom. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh. See you, Jenny. I hate it when I act polite for no yeah. reason. Ah. But now you can give your umbrella to me. <laughs> what? Why should I? You broke mine. Did not dip to. Uh, you okay, Posty? Sure. Thanks, Polly. Hey, Polly. Roy. Hello, Hello spooky. spooky. Posty, you all right? Heard your day's not going too well. Yeah, I had a slip. Roads can get slippery. Especially on rainy days like this one. So, drive carefully. Don't worry. I'll take good care of our friend Posty. Thanks. Bye, guys. Be safe, Spooky. Well, Roy, I'm heading over to the school. Yeah, I guess classes are over by now. Right. And I want to make sure the students all get home safely. You be careful, too, Polly. Will do. Quit hugging it. I'm all wet. I'm getting wetter than you, Kevin. Roy! Kevin, what do we do now? I don't know! This rain just won't go away! I'm so, so am I. Let's cross! Oh, 
okay. Oh, oh, gotta hurry. Oh, oh, no! I can't see! Hey, look out! Oh, oh, I'm rolling too fast! Oh, this won't be pretty! I'm sorry, Polly. I warned you about driving on wet roads. It's dangerous. You were right. I'll keep that in mind. Kevin and Doug, you should have been more careful too, especially since it was raining. Us too? When it rains, it takes more time and distance for a car to stop because the roads are more slippery than usual. Don't walk too close to the curb. It's safer to keep your distance from cars when it rains. It's also a good idea to stay back a few steps from crosswalks. If you get too close, a car could hit your umbrella. Always hold an umbrella higher than your eye level so you don't block your view. An umbrella you can see through is even better. Use a shoulder bag when it's raining to carry papers, books, and other things so they don't get wet. When it's dark and rainy, it's safer to wear brightly colored clothes and use a bright umbrella. Dark clothes and dark umbrellas make you hard to see and make accidents easy to happen. It's the same on snowy days, but don't wear white clothes when it snows. They make you blend in too much. Wow, we blocked our view with the umbrella and, and walked walk right, right into the crosswalk without looking. We, we even had a dark umbrella. umbrella. Oh, we, we got, got it all wrong. wrong. That's true, but now you know how to get things right as rain. Yeah. <sighs> Jenny, you've got nothing to worry about today. You can't share that tiny umbrella with him. Here, I'll share mine. Thanks, guys, but I'm covered. <laughs> okay. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh, Jenny, wait, wait for, for me. me. Try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> when lightning strikes. That's a purple emperor, and that's a tiger swallowtail. Wow, those, those are, are really cool. cool. Hmm, it's not that cool. I think butterflies are boring. I know. Beetles are way cooler than butterflies. Oh, huh? butterflies? Wow! Charles, mm -hmm. are these your pictures? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've always said that butterflies are huh? so awesome. What? Didn't I? You uh, said that butterflies uh, were... <laughs> Whoa! That blue one is great! What a pretty color! And it looks even better in the wild. Uh, really? Cindy, I could catch one. Huh? <laughs> you could? <laughs> You're terrified of any bug. You catch a butterfly? Yeah, so? I bet there's no way you could catch one. What? I challenge you to catch a blue butterfly before me. Deal. There's no way I'll lose. Uh... You guys are so weird. <gasps> you guys, problem. We're getting a huge thunder and lightning storm later today. Are you oh. sure, Jen? It looks sunny outside huh. now. Hallie, weather's unpredictable sometimes. We should start getting ready now so the town doesn't get damaged. Yeah, and we should warn people too. Great, I'll go check the outskirts of town. Yeah, and I'll alert people downtown. Sounds good, let's get to it. You, you got, got it. it. <laughs> Catching a butterfly is a piece of cake. Whatever, I'll definitely get one before you do. Huh? Butterfly! <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hey guys, a yellow sulfur. Wow. I'm sure the blue variety is around here. Yeah. Oh, what are they up to? Maybe it's over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little closer. Uh, uh. 
Quite the same. Charles, run! Ah! 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 <sighs> My everything hurts, and I'm starving. Hey, you know, we can always try again. Huh? It started raining. Let's go hide under that tree. Your lightning rod is good to go. Thanks, Roy. But when the lightning starts up, you should still take shelter indoors in a safe area. And don't stand under a tree. Why? Is it dangerous? Yes. Trees have a high risk of getting struck, so it's best to keep away. Now it's going to make me real nervous. Oh, wait. Roy, I saw some kids go into the woods a while ago. Oh, no. If this weather gets worse, mm -hmm. will they be OK? <gasps> mm -hmm. oh. They're not safe. Ah! Uh, it wasn't supposed to rain. Uh. Huh? You guys, it's the blue butterfly. Wow, that's ah. it. I'll get it first. Huh? Guys, stop! Huh? Ah! Look out! Ah! Uh, are you kids okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, let's get you home, now! <laughs> that was a close one. You could have been hurt. Thanks, Roy. You're, You're so, so awesome. awesome. Listen, you have to remember a couple things when it comes to storms. Never play outside if you hear thunder or see lightning. And if you're outside, find shelter in a building or inside a car. Buildings and cars provide much needed protection from lightning's dangerous electricity. Lightning strikes in higher places too. So be sure to stay away from mountains or other high places during storms. If you stand near a tree, you can get hurt because trees are more likely to be struck by lightning. If there are no buildings or cars nearby, go to an open area and lay flat and small on the ground. Finally, don't hold any metal objects like umbrellas or butterfly nets. These conduct electricity and you could get hit. We were under a tree though. Mm. And not just that, we were holding these nets too. That, that was, was really, really dangerous. dangerous. Good, lesson learned. Mm. Huh? But mm. why are you sad? We tried to catch the blue butterfly. Huh? Wow, blue butterflies, guys, they're everywhere. Really? Yeah! <laughs> Play ball safely. <laughs> Ta da! Whoa, cool new ball. How'd you get it? I begged for it, and my parents finally had to give in. Wow, let me see it. Nice and bouncy. Feels just right. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, oh. you're getting it dirty. Uh, well, what do you want to do? Look at it or play with it? Play, I guess. Uh, uh, catch it if hey, you can. I'm faster than you are. <laughs> oh, come on, Doug. Let's go to the park. Okay. Mm, mm. Uh, hey, where's the ball? Uh, Kevin, look! Uh, oh, sorry, boys. My ball! Oh, no. Oh, I tried to stop in time, but you shouldn't play with a ball near the road. Kevin! Oh. That's bad. Was oh. Kevin upset? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry his ball burst, but it's lucky there wasn't an accident. You're right, but the boys are so disappointed. I've got to do something, Polly. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Great. What is it? There. Good as new. This looks awful. Sorry, next time you should be more careful.
Learn from your mistake. Don't play with it near the road. Don't, Don't worry, worry, we won't. <sighs> Here. Give me! Uh. Uh. No! Uh. Don't you remember what my mom just said? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's so boring just holding the ball. Give it to me. I'll carry it. No, it's mine. I'll do it. Let me. I will. Kevin and Doug must have gone home. Huh? Oh, Kevin, stay there! Kevin, are you okay? Yeah. Oh. Thanks a lot, Polly. Kevin, Doug, this is your second near accident so far today. I know, but I really tried to hold on to the ball this time, Polly. Kevin, you can always get another ball, but you can't get another life. Yeah. Can you remember a few simple rules for when you play ball? Sure. Don't play ball where there are cars nearby. Play in the park. When you're focused on the ball, you might not realize when a car's coming, and that's dangerous. If the ball goes out into the road, never run out after it. Just wait until the ball comes to a stop, cross safely, and then pick it up. Or ask an adult to get the ball for you. Okay, Polly. And now, ta-da! What's that, Polly? It's a ball bag. You carry your soccer ball in this, and you don't have to worry about it rolling away. When you carry a ball in your arms, there's always a chance it can get you into danger. When you don't have a ball bag, use a plastic bag instead. Here, Kevin, this is for you. Oh. Thanks. Hey, Doug, whoa, a new ball, too. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Polly. Well, actually, the ball's from Dump. The truck? He said to say that he was sorry about running over your ball. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Here it goes! You better catch it! Come on, Doug! Kick it! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! A fire in the forest. Just a bit more. You said that an hour ago. <gasps> Dad, did you see it? There was a deer over there. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Whoa! So awesome! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm done. Mom! Huh? Check it out! Uh, no. <laughs> That's okay. Shh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so Aww. cute. <laughs> huh? Look? Huh? That looks like a forest fire. Jin, rescue squad. Jin, problem. There's a fire at Vroom Mountain. The woods? What's up, Jin? There's a fire in Vroom Mountain. Peter's family is there. Mobilize all rescue units immediately. Got, Got it. it. Hmm. Stay calm and follow my instructions, okay? 
One, get away from the fire and preferably on lower ground. Fires are spread by wind, so try to get upwind of it if you can. Thanks, Jin. Now, which way does the wind go? Which way is it blowing? Uh... But, Dad, what are we supposed to do? Are we in super huge danger? Don't worry, uh... guys. Dad will lead us to safety and we'll all be fine. Right, honey? Uh... That's right. We're fine. Just trust your pop. Uh... Uh... This way. Let's go. <laughs> This wind is making it hard to stop the fire! We got this! Just a little more! Hey! Huh? Mark! Mark Buggy! Thought we might give you guys a hand. Luckily, we got four! Awesome! Hey, Helly, look for Peter's family from above! On it! Uh, huh? Oh no! There are two roads! Jin! One road's been burned by the fire, and one looks clear. Which one do we take? Right now, take the road that looks like it's been burned. Are you sure that's where we should go? If it looks burnt now, the fire has already passed through. I promise it'll be safer. I understand. All right, this way. <coughs> Peter! <coughs> oh, no! Kids! Oh. Yes, we're all good. Jin? Jin? Huh? My phone broke. Oh no, Dad! What do we do now? <laughs> Peter! Oh. Lucy! Oh, hear that? Help me! Huh? Down, Down here. here! Ah, there you are! Right, I found him! Great! Take them to a safe place! Let's finish this up. <clears throat> what a relief nobody got hurt. Thanks to Robert calling in quick, most of the forest is still safe. Oh, well, don't thank me. Come on, Dad, you're awesome. <laughs> if you see a forest fire, call 911 and get as far away from it as you can. Get to a lower area, not a higher one. Fire will spread with the wind, so go in the opposite direction of the wind. If you find yourself in a forest fire, remember not to panic. Go to a place that looks already burned or with fewer trees. Open roads and rocky areas work too. But mostly, always remember to stay as calm as you can. That way, you can be rescued. Mm -hmm. we, we got, got it. it! What's wrong? Mom, but what about the squirrel? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure he got away safe and sound. Whoa, over there! The squirrels did get away safe. You see, Lucy? Oh. Yay! Bye-bye, squirrel family! <laughs> <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. You know what to do if your clothes catch on fire, right? Yes! yes. Huh? <laughs> Johnny, oh. wake up. Your shirt's on fire. Huh? Ah! Put it out! Put it out! Ah! 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 <laughs> Peter! Johnny, huh? what do you do when your clothes catch on fire? Um, <laughs> well, I... Uh, Johnny, oh. up there. First stop, don't run. Then cover your mouth and nose and drop to the floor. Last, roll back and forth. Got it? Don't forget, okay? I won't forget. <laughs> huh? All right, everyone. Whoa. That's it for today. <laughs> Happy Halloween! All, All right. right! Thank, Thank you, Jen! Jen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Johnny, you make a great vampire. Cool idea. <laughs> and your skeleton's awesome. Then let's get to it. All right. <laughs> Trick or treat! Oh my, Peter and Johnny, you guys look really great. Here you go, you two. Happy oh. Halloween. Oh, wow, wow. Thanks, thanks a lot. lot. <laughs> Trick or treat! <laughs> 
Happy Halloween! Wow! Yeah. Thank you! <laughs> Trick or treat! <laughs> hey! Hallie, it's me, Peter! <laughs> that wasn't nice! You guys really scared me! Can, Can we, we have some too? <laughs> Happy Halloween, Pete and Johnny! Ah, thanks, Polly! Helly? Hm. Sorry, I just ran out. If there, there are, are no treats, then there's gonna be tricks! Ah! Oh, don't do that. Have some candy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Trick or treat! Ah! Oh. Oh. Cleany! Cleany! Trick, Trick or treat! treat. Wow, those costumes are great. <laughs> You, you choose trick or treat. You choose trick or treat. <laughs> How funny are you guys? How about a treat? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? Whoa! Whoa look, look at, at that! that. <laughs> 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 These kids sure scare easily. What? Huh. But they have the skills of a ninja. <laughs> Don't underestimate me when it comes to candy. <laughs> We're gonna have enough to last till Thanksgiving at this rate. <laughs> wow, where did you get that? Look at the size of that pop. Roy's handing them out down there. Oh, come on, let's go. Huh? Johnny! <laughs> Johnny! <laughs> Then roll back and forth. That's right. Stop, drop to the ground, and roll. Johnny! Johnny, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. Let me check you out. Just stay still. You were very lucky, Johnny. Yeah, and really scared also. When your clothes are on fire, you have to try not to panic. If you run or move around, it helps the fire to spread. Cover your face with your hands to protect it. Cover your nose and mouth to avoid inhaling smoke into your lungs. Then drop to the floor and roll to put out the flames. Burnt clothes may stick to your skin, so be careful when removing them. If that happens, ask a grown-up for help. All right, we got it. You think? What happens when your clothes catch on fire? You stop, and, and then, then you drop, drop and roll. <laughs> Good work. Here, these are for you for doing what you learned. Wow, they're, they're massive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> our homework at Jenny's today. Mm -hmm. Come by at 3 o'clock, okay? But 3 o'clock's my snack time. Boy, Doug, food's all you talk oh. about. Don't worry, Doug. I'm baking a batch of delicious cupcakes for us. Cupcakes? Uh-huh. I'm not eating any cupcakes you make. <laughs> Fine. You don't have to. Oh, that means more cupcakes for me. Yum. Doug, you didn't eat your snack. That's okay. Maybe I can eat that snack after I have Jenny's cupcakes. <laughs> Son, Sonny, wait! Yes? I need directions. Where to? Do you know how to get to the hospital? The fastest way is you turn up at the corner, then you turn way down over there, then you turn the other oh, way, and I then... I need details. Turn there, then there. Too confusing. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I'll just take you there. Follow me. Oh, thank you. Well... Here it is. Thank you very much. Okay, see uh, you around. Bye-bye. I'm gonna be late. Better hurry. Coco, come 
down. Uh, huh? Coco, please calm down. What's the matter, Mary? Doug, my cat Coco is up in that tree and won't come down. I'll huh? get Coco down for you. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Here she is, Mary. Coco, are you okay? Well, better get going now. Thank you, Doug. Sure. I better hurry or I'll miss those cup. Oh! Yeah. I have to make this light. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, you should never run across like that. Uh, I'm really sorry. Do you think you broke anything? No, I'm okay. I have uh. to go. Hey, wait. Come back. Uh, this is serious. He just ran away? Yeah, I told him to wait, and I couldn't follow him down the alley. This boy could have some kind of injury. He didn't tell you his name? No, but he had brownish hair, he had a few freckles on his face, and ah, a white shirt with blue stripes. Brown hair, freckles, white shirt with stripes. Doug! <sighs> what took you so long? <sighs> Did you stop for a snack? No, I was... Um... Whatever. Let's just get started with our homework. <sighs> right. Hey, Doug, what uh, happened? Your knee is bleeding, uh, Doug. Yeah, I kind of got hit by a car. What? Ah! What are you uh, doing here? Well, I... Uh, that's Polly? him. Uh, that's the boy. So, it was you. No, no, Polly. I know I made a mistake, but please don't arrest me. Don't worry, Doug. I'm not here to arrest you. I'm just worried about you. Let's make sure you're okay. <laughs> Everything's good. But Doug, just because you're okay doesn't mean you should ever run away from an accident. I guess I didn't know what to do. There are a few things you should do if you get hit by a car. So will you listen as I tell you what they are? Yes! yes. If you ever get hit by a car, try to stay calm. Don't panic. As soon as you can, I let your parents know what's happened and go to the hospital with the driver. Get the phone number of the driver and write down a description and the license plate number of the car and Did ask for help from anyone who clearly the saw the accident and who can describe what happened. You. So kids, remember what I've told you and stay safe. We'll try, Polly. Oh, hello there, young fella. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you again. And you, I just saw my friend in the hospital. But if you hadn't guided me here, that wouldn't have happened. That's good to hear. Oh. Hi, Tag. Hey, Mary. Thanks for getting Coco out of that tree for me. Well, Dougie, uh, <laughs> I guess you weren't late because you were uh, snacking after you all. You should have told us you were busy helping everybody in town. Aw, <laughs> oh, no way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's way past your snack time. Let's go back to my house and have uh, the cupcakes I made. Yay! Oh. I can't wait to taste them, Jenny. I may have some, too. No, you won't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>